Hi, it's me and my gigantic book of ideas that's very tiny. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's super tiny. I didn't even find like pages yet to use. You know, I'm still working on my pretty pages. However, it's the fourth one. That's why it's so tiny. And today I want to do something watercolor. Watercolor swatches. I want to remember to do watercolor swatches because it's cute. It's, I don't know. I saw it somewhere in, in the journal, flipped through, and I was like, oh, you should do that. Why don't you fit in here? That's not nice of you. I think I'm going to cut off like, I think that should be enough for us. And the thing is, let me tell you this. I've had this watercolor paper for many, many years, and I do not use it. Why? Because I think it's expensive. Is that enough as a card? Yeah, I think so. I think it's expensive. And I, I don't use it. There are so many pages left. I maybe used one or two pages. And then I put the little things in here. You know? So I'm like, why? Girl, use it. <laughs> I think it was maybe 10 maybe $15. And I feel like it's so expensive. But then again, if I don't use it for years, then I shouldn't have bought it in the first place. Right? Right. So got my watercolors right here that I want to use too <laughs> and I have the swatches right here so basically I'm gonna do kind of the same thing but on a little piece of paper and then this can become a card a journaling card but you also have like swatches it's just something different doesn't make sense so it's not really nobody needs a tutorial for that and I'm gonna use some water from my spray bottle that doesn't spray anymore uh, oh, how do I do that? How do I do that? Because I will need, like, I don't want my, my brush to get all messed up. Is it is it what we're going to use? Or is the brush what we're going to use? I don't know. How do you keep... I need two, don't I? I need two containers to keep my... It doesn't matter. So, don't listen to my rambling. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to make my brush clean. You know, that's what I'm trying. And I'm dripping onto my pretty watercolor paper. What's going on? Okay, we don't need to do all swatches, right? But we could do some. So I would say, let's just start out. Oof, scary, scary Mary. And people do put water on their watercolors too to activate them. I don't even know what that means. I'm not like a professional here, but I'm going, I don't even need that much. Why am I taking that much? I don't even know how watercolor acts on watercolor paper, I must say. It's really pretty. You know what? Because I have that much paint, I might just do like two cards at once so I can keep one and have one in like my stash. Because now what am I gonna do with all this color? So I'm going to do two cards. And then, because there is so much color left on my brush, I'm also going to brush it off on book pages. Because then, one day, they are going to look pretty, right? Okay, I think that's a very good idea, girl. This way, you don't waste stuff. I, I don't like wasting stuff. We all know that. So I'm going to be surrounded by my stuff now. Okay, we did yellow. Now let's do orange orange so we go like next to it or underneath i have no idea and it shouldn't be that bad you know like i should not have to make that many decisions while just putting some watercolor swatches onto something right why do i feel like i have to make all these decisions there's a lot of paint on my brush, so I'm just going to get some more water and brush it off. This way I kind of make my, my book pretty too, I feel like. So, <laughs> this is going to be a five hour video just because I can decide <laughs> on stuff, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, let's do some red. I think it's red, or maybe it's darker orange, who knows, I don't know. And then I'm just going to do a swatch right here. 
and also one right here and also I'm gonna go all over my page Ooh, I can't wait for the pages to be pretty you know not to be pretty because now they are pretty but for them to be used as pretty pages one time one day so oh I went to my IOP today and um, I'm trying to get to take a day off I'm trying to take well I want to take a week off but that's that's a lot right so my brain just won't it's not like somebody's keeping me from taking time off my husband would be like go for it you know but my brain is keeping me for taking a day off and with everything I've been through with my stomach, my throat, my heart, my everything, I I just need rest. And I don't allow myself to rest. And that's not a good thing. So we were talking about it. And then like she always writes on the whiteboard like all the solutions or things I could do or use or whatever. And then I wrote some stuff down as well. And um, I want to try and implement some. And I said, okay, you know what? I choose to take today off. And I was all for it, you know. I was optimistic. <laughs> I was optimistic there for a while until I got home. And then, you know, you get home, you see the dishes, you see everything. And I'm actually having an okay day today so in my brain it feels like a waste of my energy that i do have today and me not being in too much pain and everything it feels like a waste to waste all of this on just what having doing nothing where i could be doing something so i struggle with that a lot so i have decided I'm taking three hours off. <laughs> I set a timer, guys. I set a timer for three hours. And I figured, okay, that this feels kind of doable, you know? I think I can do this. I don't know yet. I'm not looking at a timer. <laughs> at first, I wanted... No, I didn't set a timer. I set an alarm. At first, I wanted to set a timer. But I know that I will be looking at the timer. And of course, I can go ahead and look at the alarm, but it's different because I have to take different steps to look at the alarm. So I'm not looking at the alarm. And um, at the timer, to look at the timer is just so much easier, right? So I'm gonna do this. And I think I'm not gonna do it on here because I'm gonna do the blues on here now. So I'm just gonna use it up here. Ooh, I love the colors. I love to play with watercolors, you know. I, I would, <laughs> we were also doing like an exercise in IOP previously. And then um, we were supposed to write down like what we, like our feelings and when we are feeling it or in which situation or whatever. And then there was envy. So one of my envy feelings I wrote down was I envy people who can draw <laughs> and it's true well I'm getting bigger and bigger here do you see that I don't think it's good <laughs> yes I, I definitely envy people who can draw I, I envied them my whole life and I wish I could draw and I realized that um you know you are not born with the ability to draw you could like take classes and um practice which I don't do <laughs> so I wish I could draw just like that <laughs> without having to take classes and whatever yeah so I envy people who can draw especially you know watercolor you know there are so many videos on YouTube and they are amazing and I love how people are so talented but um, I also envy them a little bit and that's why doing this makes me feel so good because I do use the watercolors for something. <laughs> and I'm not really drawing, but I am producing something, okay? I'm making something. I'm creating something, even though it's not a drawing. Okay. And 
what do we do now i think we, we are good with blues i'm gonna do this blue too so let's do one more blue right here on the bottom Ooh. and then right here as well this blue is not very pigmented is that the right word or maybe i just didn't get enough or i don't know but it doesn't look very pigmented it kind of looks like see-through what, what would you say opaque is that the right word i don't know however don't matter it could have gone much quicker but i'm enjoying the process i definitely am and now i'm going into whatever this color is i think this is blue as well yep this is blue it's hard to see because it looks all dark but i'm guessing it might be more pigmented too yep oh this is a pretty blue do we put one more blue here or we just no i think we're good with blue oh this is a very pretty blue i like it look at this one it's super pretty Ooh, really like this one okay okay, okay. and then we are going i skipped some colors as you can tell because this is not that big oh this is a dark one it's very pretty too but i like the other one more this is very dark very dark it's more almost like gray i feel like so i don't know okay now we're getting into the green let's get the green from here oh very pretty green i think did i say that <laughs> Some of you, well, probably not a lot are left from my um, days with pocket letters. <laughs> but some of you may still remember that I always said, I hate green. <laughs> and now I said, ooh, pretty green. <laughs> so, you know, we change. Yes, we do. We are constantly changing, and that's life. Change our preferences, we change our crafting styles, you know, we change a lot of things. Sometimes we don't even notice. Something smells funny. I don't know, sometimes I think I'm smelling gas. Okay, let's do this one. And it's a very colorful, colorful, <laughs> colorful addition to your journal. But I think if you distress it, for example, you can still make it kind of different. But I don't want to distress it or anything. Oh, look how much is left over on the brush. Okay. I don't know if I, I would want to distress it. I think I would like to just add it as is to my... Why am I smelling gas? Maybe it's... I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe. I'm not going to go check. Imagine that. For somebody who has anxiety on some things, I just like, ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm busy doing something. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who's next? I, I forget which one I had. Oh, somebody barking. Smelling gas too, boy? Okay. And this will be the last one for this card. All right. I think this one I'll put aside. And then I'll just use this. Okay. Okay. Now this goes should go quicker now. Because I only whoop, what am I doing there? Let's do whatever this one is. I don't know what it is. Gold? I'm not quite sure. Brownish something? Something brownish. Oh, this is like olive. It looks like olive. Do I have it somewhere here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yellow ochre? I don't know. I don't even know what that means. But it's a very pretty color. I like it. Okay. And then we are going to use the one next to it. We're getting into the bronze now. And this video is way too long for just a paint swatch thing, <laughs> but we're okay.
okay right are we okay guys i think i'm gonna just because i'm getting into the browns and now it's gonna be like the darker brown i just put it on the on the same page oh this is a very pretty one this looks like rust yeah def oh yeah definitely does looks like rust very pretty now my water looks like mud a little bit <laughs> because it's a mix of everything okay i have two more left let's do this one yeah just brown don't really not really my type okay. you are not really my type and this one is probably gray or brown too probably brown too Oh, just darker brown. Almost the same brown like this one, I must say. Just maybe a smidge darker. Okay. All right. Look at that. And my water is brown now. I might just put it on, on paper <laughs> and make some, some white paper brownish. Okay, so this looks pretty good. This has dried already. Yeah, watercolor on watercolor paper is completely different. But now you can make it into a journaling card. You can just stick it somewhere. You could also, if you have good writing skills, you could write the colors there as well. But mine are not that good. So I'm not going to do that. But um, I'm going to stick this. You know what? I'm thinking. No, it's... I was thinking maybe I could like photocopy something and then make some, but I didn't like it. So, no. And then you can stick it somewhere. You can make it into a pocket. Too. Ooh, this was not dry. And I just touched it. However, you can clip it and then you have like something different. You can make it different shapes, sizes. You can make a little one. You could also make one with just little drops which I'm thinking maybe I should make too, but without you, because, you know, you watched me doing this whole thing already. So I'm thinking, you know what? Let me make a second one. Can I do it as a drop? Let me try real quick before I turn you off. Oh my God, I had so much fun. <laughs> I tried to make a little puddle every time. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I wish I, I had like a very pretty <clears throat> writing, writing, is it? Then I could write the colors or something, but I could never, never could I. Well, never say never, but I don't think I could fit the, the names in there. Or, you know, you could just, but it, it's so pretty. And now just clip it somewhere in your journal. Or you can also just put it into a pocket. Oh, that's pretty too. Watch this. I'm going to turn it so there is different colors. Put it into your pocket so you basically have a little decoration but also i have a journaling card and i love it this is not dry yet so i have to be careful <laughs> i love it and i have mud i don't know if i should um like put this on my i will i will see what's gonna happen i will just take some copy paper and brush it over and then see what kind of color my copy paper is gonna be as as long as it's not white i don't care <laughs> so that's my idea that's my sharing and i hope you enjoyed it even though it was just you know putting some paints on a piece of paper sometimes something as little as that is very relaxing and joyful so try it out and thank you for being here i hope you are all healthy and happy and enjoying your day and i see you soon bye bye